Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and today I wanted to talk to you about Green Thumb Industries. I have a top 10 stocks for December 2019. All of these are cannabis companies. I believe that the cannabis stocks are very close to what we call the resurrection. They've been down for the last eight months, and I believe that we are about to explode. We've got a lot of catalysts coming. The Moore Act just passed the House 2410. The Safe Banking Act passed the House. Now we've got edibles legalization and cannabis infused beverages coming. They call it legalization 2.0. They will be on your shelves in two weeks here in Canada. Two weeks away from legalization 2.0. We've been waiting what it seems like forever. Green Thumb. Let's talk about Green Thumb. 68 million in quarterly sales. 52% quarter over quarter growth. Let's just take a look at the one year chart. So I see the upside being tremendous here. Um, even from these levels, you can see that the high, high is $21. You can see that the low, low is around 10. We're at 12.20. So I think the upside from these levels is tremendous. I still think it's being held down like everybody else because the market is just not strong. But in my opinion, I see incredible growth potential for Green Thumb Industries. 68 million in quarterly sales. 52% quarter over quarter growth. 296% it went up over the last year and they lost only 1.9 million in adjusted operating income which is not bad considering there's only about 10 companies across North America that are profitable or have at least a positive adjusted operating income. The American symbol for GTII which is the Canadian symbol for Green Thumb Industries is GTBIF. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody in America. Have, hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving and we know that football's coming so I know football's starting pretty soon that's why we're not live right now we're just gonna make a video put it out there and hopefully you find time to watch it today on your Thanksgiving have a lot of turkey let's go Cowboys should be three good games today green thumb GTII number 10 on my list number nine company that I brought to you guys first a company that I believe in and I think has incredible potential Village Farms International. I've been talking to you about them a lot. I think the upside is tremendous for these guys. $8.80 in Canada right now. VFF is the symbol in Canada. VFF is the symbol in America. You can see that they've had a major run. They were only at $4 last December. They made a run all the way to over 20. They went as high as $23. That's the high high. We've consolidated all the way back down to these levels. We're at $8. For them to go back to $23, that's almost 200% higher from here. I see. I think we go higher. I think the upside is tremendous. $9 million in quarterly sales. Uh, their quarter over quarter growth actually did fall by 12%, but they had a $4.6 million adjusted operating income, which is very, very good. One of the top in the industry Keep Village Farms on your radar. Keep it on your watch list. One of the best things about this company is the share structure. Only 52 million shares issued and outstanding. Very tight float. And that's why I believe Village Farms has a chance to be an absolute giant. I brought them to you first. I told you guys about them years ago, way before they exploded. It's been a huge winner for our community. And I believe it wins again. Number eight. That was number nine on the list. Number eight on the top 10 for Rich TV Live is Planet 13. I've been talking about Planet 13 for a while. I'm a big fan of Planet 13. I think that this company has so much potential, so much upside, PLTH in Canada, and the symbol in America. Here it is at $1.93, despite the fact that they reported the best results so far for the company. And the symbol in America is PLNHF. The symbol in Canada is PLTH. 134 million shares issued and outstanding. But I love the fact that they're creating specialty stores to create an entertaining environment for cannabis enthusiasts. I love it. I love the idea. I love the concept. You can see here that the high high is around 347 uh, this summer. And you can see that the low low was at the beginning uh, actually last December at $1.22 and we're currently at $1.93. I think the upside is tremendous for Planet 13. 
I love their business model. I love the vision. They want to create a club for cannabis enthusiasts. Love it. They work with Mike Tyson. I'm a huge fan of Mike Tyson. And they want to have like a pool. So you're going to be able to go get your cannabis, get your CBDs, get your cannabis infused beverages, get your edibles, have fun, go to a club, party with other cannabis enthusiasts, hop in the pool. That sounds like my place, like a place that I'd love to be at. 16.7 million in quarterly sales. They only grew by 1% over the quarter. That's probably why the stock didn't do well right after the report, despite the fact that the report was strong. They did grow by 241% over the last year. Tremendous growth. And they had a 0.5, they actually had $500,000 in adjusted operating income. So they are on the right track to profitability. This is what I really want to focus on. Profitable businesses or businesses that are close to profitability that I think have tremendous business models tremendous upside, reasonable share structures, strong management team with a vision of global or international or national expansion. Love Planet 13 Holdings, love their vision. That's why they're number eight on my list, Rich TV Live Top 10 December 2019. In number seven, I haven't talked about this company for a while, but they're actually one that I own. I really believe in them, CXXI. C21 Investments in Canada, CXXIF in America. I just show you guys the Canadian ones because I'm more familiar because I'm in Canada, but uh, it's not because I'm not uh, trying to, uh, you know, bring too much visibility to the American ones. Maybe this time, there we go. There we go. So CXXI has actually been climbing secretly, quietly. Uh, they're at 65 cents now in Canada, and if you take a look at the last three months, you can see they've made a big move here. They hit as low as 47 cents, uh, just recently as high as 76, now at 65, quietly making a move. You can see that their high high was much, much higher, like $2.45, the low low, which I showed you guys, which was 47 cents about three weeks ago, and now we're at 65 cents, so they started to make their move, and I'm going to show you guys why. 9.9 .9 million in quarterly sales, 27% up over the last month, only 5.98 million shares issued outstanding. One of the tightest floats I've seen out of everyone in the sector. Keep them on your watch list, keep them on your radar. And they did have a positive adjusted EBITDA of operating income of $100,000. So they're not losing in their adjusted operating income. They're not winning a lot. They're up 100 grand, but it's still in the positive. So I think CXXI has to be on your radar, has to be in your watch list. I think the opportunity for them is tremendous. Strong revenue growth, strong quarterly growth, adjusted operating income in the green. Despite it being a little bit, it's still better than their peers. CXXI has to be on your watch list, has to be on your radar. Please, guys, if you like this video, smash the like button. Comment down below. Share the video everywhere. I'd love to know about your opinion on some of these picks. CXXI is number seven. Number six is one that I actually haven't talked about a lot, and they are now finally on my radar, on my watch list. They had a lot of issues, but they are starting to really grow on me, and I think the potential for them could be absolutely tremendous. Liberty Health Sciences. As you can see, they're up 3% right now. If we look at their one-year chart, you can see they've been way, way higher. $1.45 literally almost to the day, to the day, November 28, 2018, went all the way down on some scandals and news and all kinds of bad stuff, all the way down to 36 and a half cents, almost two months to the day, September 27th at 36 cents. It's almost doubled from there. It's been climbing now at 63 cents. Issue note standing is at 345 million shares. But I want to talk to you why, because there's a reason why they've been doing so well. 10.6 million in quarterly sales, unbelievable growth. They did lose 400,000 in adjusted operating income. Only two companies on this list, Liberty Health Sciences and Green Thumb, actually were in the red as far as adjusted operating income. Every other company has a positive adjusted operating income, but I thought considering it was only 400,000, that they're very close to having a positive operating adjusted income. And they had 93% quarter over quarter growth, which I thought was tremendous. 
and 379% year over year growth. I think Liberty Health Sciences needs to be on everybody watch list, everybody radar, and I think the upside is absolutely tremendous. Liberty Health Sciences, let me know what you guys think. LHSIF in America, LHS in Canada, and we are looking at all of this information on richtvlive.com. Guys, go to richtvlive.com, subscribe. We're building a lot of infrastructure for that website. We're gonna have a membership. We're gonna have options trading, Forex trading. You name it, we're gonna do it here at Rich TV Live. And of course, we are the leaders when it comes to cannabis stock education. Now, in number five, this is one I don't think I've ever talked about, but now is the time. Alcana. L-Q-S-I-F in America, C-L-I-Q in Canada. These guys are on my radar now because they are doing some big things. You can see $4.26. Uh, very little volume, but I love the shares. Only 37 million shares issued outstanding, very tight float. And if we go to the one year chart, you can see they've been much higher. They've been as high as $7 to the day last year. Recently as high as $6.47 in August in the summer. Recently, as low as the low low of the year, $3.88. So definitely a chance to maybe go a little bit lower. Remember, guys, when I give you these videos, I'm not suggesting you buy them today. I'm suggesting put them on your watch list, put them on your radar, date the stocks, watch the stocks, and then let me know. If you think it's the bottom and you've done your due diligence and you've done your research and you want to buy the stock, hey, I'm not telling you whether you should or you shouldn't. I'm just here to educate you, entertain you, and put these stocks on your watch list, put them on your radar, because these are growing companies that have an incredible future. Alcana is number five on my list, CLIQ in Canada, LQSIF in America, 0 0.9 over the quarter, uh, adjusted operating income of 900,000. So they have a positive adjusted operating income. They grew by 47% over the quarter, great quarter over quarter sales growth, and 12.9 million in quarterly sales, and that number just keeps growing. So they're another one that's a new one that I haven't talked about a lot, but they have a tight share structure, great business model, moving in the right direction. They've been a little bit lower than these prices, but they've also been a lot higher. There could be about 100% upside from here in 2020 in Alcana Inc. Love to know what you guys think. They're number five on my list. Number four, now we're getting into some that I've talked about, and these are some of the ones that I just think are too big at this point to fail and have an incredible future. Balance Grow Works. Number four on my list, BGW, 5.5 million in adjusted operating income, very strong results for Balance Grow Works. 87% quarter over quarter growth, incredible quarter over quarter growth and 16.5 million in sales for the quarter. 122 million shares issued outstanding. And you can see that the American symbol is VGWCF. The Canadian symbol is VGW. Absolutely love them. Huge extraction play. One of the biggest extraction plays in the world is Valen Grow Works. The potential for them is enormous. The upside is huge. I've been saying it, 2019 has been the year for the extractors, and as you can see, Valens has been a huge winner, okay? They were as low as last December, not too long ago, $1.16, currently at $3.14. They have been as high as $4.66, so I still think there's a lot of upside from here. Tight share structure, and I believe that Valens Grow Works, even though they don't get a lot of press, and even when I do videos, nobody wants to watch them, they're an absolute giant, and I believe 2020 is an even bigger and better year for Valens than 2019. This is a company that everybody should be watching if you're into cannabis stocks, okay? Number three, another one that I've been talking about a lot. It's been in pretty much every one of my top tens for the last few months, and how could they not be? They are an absolute giant. Love these guys, love everything about them, love everything they're doing. I love their social media game. I mean, these guys are big on Twitter and they're doing everything the right way. Medifarm Labs at 393, up 2% right now. And they had 5.4 million in adjusted operating income, 
Them and Valves Growworks are the two biggest players as far as adjusted operating income in Canada right now. Both massive extractors. Labs is the biggest extractor that is a licensed LP in the world right now, okay? 43.4 million in quarterly sales. Valens only had 16.5 million. So they are the leader in extraction. 38% quarter over quarter growth. I absolutely love Labs. They need to be on your watch list. They need to be on your radar. And I wanna know, do you buy Labs now? Do you think the upside is huge? 130 million shares issued in outstanding. Love the share structure. And if we go to the one year chart, you can see they've been a tremendous success in 2019. Uh, as low as $1.28 when I started talking about them last year and went as high as over $7 on some of these big runs twice, have come back down as low as $3.44 recently and just recently at $3.78 and now starting to kind of come back, a little tail growing here and I think the upside from here is absolutely tremendous for Metafarm Labs. They're on my top 10 every single month and it's because they're such a success story. Okay, this next one is one that I think everybody needs to be watching and they do not get enough press. Grow Generation Corp. I've been talking about them for well over a year. I've been one of the only ones talking about these guys while they've been growing all year long. For whatever reason, when I do videos, they don't get many views again. <laughs> Once again, I don't know, probably because it's going up. People only want to watch stocks that are going down. They don't want to watch ones that are going up. But Grow Generation Corp, the reason I like them is they're in the picks and shovel side of the business. They're opening stores. They're giving you lighting. They're giving you soil. They're giving you uh, products that you need to grow your cannabis. They are a store for cannabis MSOs. I love it. I love their model. They're opening up so many stores. They're growing very, very fast. GRWG, I think, has a chance to be an absolute giant. 21.8 million in quarterly sales. And by the way, they're going to the NASDAQ next week. That's right. They're moving to the NASDAQ next week. You can see they're at $2.18 last December. They've been as high as $5.68 in America. These guys are only in America. And they're currently at $4.69. Been a huge success story in 2019. Despite the fact that no one talks about it, 35.5 million shares issued in outstanding, very tight. And they will be on the NASDAQ December 2nd, which is Monday of next week. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone in America. Grow Generation Corp will be on the NASDAQ on Monday. That's why they're number two on my list. 1.1 million in adjusted operating income, meaning they are a business that has cash flow, that is on the path to profitability, love what they're doing. 12% quarter over quarter growth, 159% year over year growth, 21.8 million in quarterly sales. GRWG number two on my list. They've been a huge winner all year. They've been going up and they're going to the NASDAQ on Monday. And number one on my list, they've been number one. This is now four of the last five months. You probably know who this is. They are the giant when it comes to adjusted operating income, true leave, Cannabis, 23.4 million in adjusted operating income. That is what we call cash flow, okay? They got cash flow. Tight share structure, only 35 million shares issued outstanding. And the symbol in America, as we know it, is TCNNF. And the symbol in Canada is TRUL. 70.7 million in quarterly sales, 22% quarter over quarter growth. 150% year over year growth. Truly Cannabis Corp has the most impressive CEO, Kim Rivers. She's done an incredible job for this company. I've been talking to you guys about them for quite some time now, and they just been climbing and climbing and climbing. I was talking to you guys about them in August when they're at $10. They're now up officially 60% since I've been telling you that they're one of my top picks in the cannabis sector since August. When they're at $10, they are now officially up 60% since I started telling you guys that they were the best and they just continue to be the best. They continue to be blessed because their adjusted operating income, which is really showing us cash flow, is the best in the industry by far. Nobody else is even close. 
That's why they're number one, True Leaf Cannabis, and that's my top 10 picks for December 2019. Eight of them have a positive adjusted operating income. Let's do it again. Number 10, Green Thumb. Number nine, Village Farms. Number eight, Planet 13. Number seven, CXXI. Number six, Liberty Health Sciences. Number five, Alcana. Number four, Balance Grow Works. Number three, Metafarm Labs. Number two, GRWG. And numero uno, True Leaf Cannabis. Number one, up 60% since August. I told you guys they were the best. The best in the best. The best is blessed. Your boy Rich from Rich to Be Live. We've been doing this since January 2017. And we're going to be here for Edibles 2.0 in two weeks. It's coming. For those shorts that have been shorting cannabis stocks, you better get into another sector. The broader markets are all-time highs, and cannabis stocks are about to rise. You can book it. Your boy Rich from Rich to Be Live. And I'm out. Peace.